Hi, in this video, I'm going to be reading a question that I received from a viewer and doing my best to answer this question. As always, if you have any advice for this person, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and open the email. And the person's name is Forrest, and the subject is identifying math deficits to figuring out where to start. Hey there, I recently discovered and subscribed to your YouTube channel. <laughs> Thanks for putting out all this great math content. I wanted to ask a question, but also wanted to provide a bit of context. I used to be decent all the way up to calculus in high school, but in my 20s, I suffered a TBI and seemed to struggle with foundational math concepts. Like so many others, I've gone back to college and many of my interests propel me towards much deeper math problems. My question is this, how can I best identify where my foundational understanding has gaps? Placement tests only got me so far, free algebra, but I'm inferring that I might need to redo grade school math to really solidify my foundation again. Thanks a bunch, your friend, Forrest. So first let me say, I think it's really good that you decided to go back to college. I think that's excellent. And the fact that you're enrolled in college and you took a placement test and put you in pre-algebra says a lot. So my advice is actually really simple. And I'm not sure if it's what you're looking for. And if anyone else can chime in and give some advice, that'd be great too. So since you're in college, you're going to have to take some math classes. And typically when you take a placement test, they only let you take certain classes. So like if you tested into pre-algebra, that means that you pretty much have to take pre-algebra and you don't really have a choice. So my advice would be this, simply jump into the classes that the school thinks you should take and take them. And when foundational issues come up, like if you're taking an algebra class and you're having an issue with inequalities, seek out resources and try to resolve that issue. One thing that people often do when they feel that they're lacking foundational things is that they'll go back and they'll try to like spend a lot of time on those foundational topics, which I think is fine, but I also think it's more important to focus on the now, to focus on the present. So what I mean by that is if you're taking an algebra class, focus on the material in that class. It's really easy for people to want to go back and review old material instead of focusing on the material that's being taught. Now, I'm not saying you're doing that. I'm just saying it's something that I've done and it's something that a lot of people do. You know, it's more fun to go learn what you're not being taught. I feel like it's human nature. In any case, I think you're gonna be okay. I think the fact that you're in college and you're taking classes in college is a really good start. So my advice would be take those classes in college that are being given to you and just really, really just focus on those classes. And when those weak spots come up, sure, go back and review if you have to, but try not to lose focus on the big picture. Try to keep focusing on what you're doing now, focusing on the classes you're taking now. Just as an example, eventually you're probably gonna get to calculus. And in calculus, something that people struggle with is algebra. People get to calculus and I feel like that's where they really learn algebra. People say it's the algebra that makes calculus hard, not the calculus, because the calculus concepts themselves are really beautiful and really not that difficult. It's really the algebra that holds people back. So one argument is you should really solidify your algebra before getting to calculus. That's a good way to do it. But my point of view is jump into the calculus and then when you get stuck, that's when you backtrack. It's kind of a hard way to do it because you're always going to encounter difficulties. You're always going to find weak spots. But I think that's the best way to find weak spots. Jump into the higher math, and then when you get stuck, then resolve those problems. It's a little bit intimidating for people to do that, but it's also more fun because it means you can jump into higher math. So Forrest, don't be afraid to explore math that you feel you're not prepared for. Jump into it. And if you get stuck, then you can backtrack. And remember, always focus on the present. Focus on the classes that you're taking now. I really appreciate your email and I think you're gonna do awesome. If anyone has any advice for Forrest, please leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck.